Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome on Top Fishing Videos. I'm David. So, you're in the right place if you like fishing and fishing videos. So, before watching this one, don't forget to subscribe and tick the bell. So, see you after this video. Now, let's watch. Focusing on the wrong face. On my face. <laughs> What's up guys, we're down here in Austin about to meet up with a buddy named Jason that we've messaged back and forth on Instagram a time or two with and do some fishing in uh, Barton Springs. No, Barton Creek. Barton Creek. Barton Creek. But uh, first we're going to take a stroll down the main strip here, Congress if I'm not mistaken, and take a look at that I love you so much sign that we've gotten pictures of in the past. We're going to see if we can't get some video, man. It's jamming. It's the day after Cinco de Mayo and there's tons of people out here so I think it might take some time for us to get a shot at this sign. We're gonna get to some fishing after this, right out here near the city, so it should be a bunch of fun, guys. Stick around. Okay. All right, y'all, we just parked. We're scoping the place out real quick, making our little initial approach gauging what we might want to use. It looks pretty sweet right here. Probably about time to go grab some rigs and get to fishing. Y'all, this is insane. We were literally here last year on Memorial Day. This place is flooding right now. I bet you there's hardly even a lot of people out here yesterday for Cinco de Mayo. This is kind of like the main area of Barton Springs where people are always just out here drinking, partying, and having a good time. Look at this place right now. Go by Jay or Jason? Uh, anything. All right, cool. Well, it's a pleasure to meet nice you, dude. Nice to meet you, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the invite and telling us the location. We wouldn't have thought to fish here because we just, you know, we're so used to just being kind of a little touristy spot where everyone yeah. comes to hang out. But everyone on Fish Brain is using bandito bugs and stuff. Everyone yeah. likes the Guggen baits down here. That's dope. Yeah. Let's try slightly further up for a second. I'm in it. The fluke is just getting pushed around in here. Only been about 20 minutes fishing so far. We wanted to hit this little point right here though, right tucked away in the corner before we head further downstream. The water is really rushing right here, but he says there's a nice little pocket where it kind of calms down and you might have some bites every once in a while. So. It was a cool little effort, but we're gonna move further down and see if we can't get some bites where it's nice and calm. Okay, well, we're screwed. <laughs> there we go. Now nah, we are in the trenches. <laughs> so guys, you're watching me and I'm kind of moving left as uh, I'm reeling in a little bit because my Kraken craw is going downstream and I'm just trying to keep a clear line of sight with my line, or I don't know if you'd call it line of sight, but I'm trying to keep a straight line between me and the fish that I would need to set a hook on if one hits. If I just stay right here the whole time, it's gonna get in behind these trees, so. I'm being real cautious on my cast because I know it's a tough cast, so I'm keeping my thumb on the spool at all times. In case I hit a tree limb, I'm like ready to just stop the line from coming off the spool and trying to avoid a bird's nest. So just some key pointers, man. If you're at a spot where it's tough to cast, you gotta do what you gotta do. We're trying to locate him, y'all, so we keep making moves a little further down the bank here. Y'all, a six, I swear to you, a five or six, like that thing is huge. Yeah, I told you, he noses right into the... There's no way I'm not gonna scare this fish. Hey, get a, get a shot of it, babe, zoom in on him. So, so they know what we talking about. I pitch through the trees or should I go over here to the right? Shit. Mm. Alright, tell me what happens now. Just go slow. She's turning. She's looking at it. Unless she's going away. Oh! <gasps> 
Dude, that was bigger than five. Yeah. Like, for sure. That was bigger than five. I wouldn't have got that fish. Like, there's no way. I would have had to, like, just let her run and wear her out, because <laughs> what was I going to do there? That was a beast. <laughs> the twig got me again. <laughs> oh, I got him. I got him. Let's get him. <laughs> I I was stuck in a tree as I'm stuck Jay's like there's one right here and he's right in front so I popped down and I ended up right in the perfect spot but he's gone there's something else cruising right here little bluegill or just smaller bass I saw two smaller bass over there oh here's one right here Devin right under the log cast, cast just straight along the bank yep yep Bring it back nice and slow, you're gonna get them. I lost them. They like this spot. Just keep it close to the bank over here. I think that's where they're hanging out. All right, we're gonna walk it down, guys. I'll come down here like five, six, seven times and not catch anything, then bam, five, six pounder. Yeah, just knowing they're there is what's sick, man. We're just leaving that spot underneath the bridge, y'all. Haven't caught anything yet, but we've had so many. Just follow the baits, look at the baits. I had one looking at the fluke right when my GoPro battery died for like five minutes. I'm just trying to pop it in front of him. He had little to no interest. I was just thinking if I could pop it right in front of his face, get a little bit of a reaction bite out of him, and I just couldn't get it. So we're gonna walk down just a little bit further. Uh-huh. What you mean? Uh, Me too. Do you? Yeah. No yeah, on iMovie, probably like you. Yeah, iMovie. I just use I iMovie. Add all the cool, crazy stuff. I'll show you. Okay. I'll set a music track, and you can literally, like without having to pay for music, go to YouTube and like screen record a, any song you want. I usually do no copyright stuff, but a lot of people have a different taste. You can just write no copyright, whatever type of music. The trusty old KVD 1.5. Uh, going for bass. <laughs> no luck yet, which is weird. Really We've been. Bass in here? Oh, yeah. Big ones. Really? Yes, sir. We're doing a video. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, just whatever you want. Yeah. You've got your little Right, yeah, that's just for the mic so the wind doesn't mess it up as much. Yeah, y'all do your thing. When they come shallow, you can see them. They've been hanging out in these rocks right here. You'll see a big one every once in a while, but you'll see probably small ones just up close. Not bass, most likely. Just probably what the bass are eating is what you'll see real close. In our area, they'll stock our ponds between like January and... Between January and February. Between, nope, January and February, they'll stock them. And so uh, we have an opportunity to catch trout in Texas too. They all die off, so it's basically like for the sport or you can go out there and catch them and just a lot of people will take them home and cook them yeah. but uh because the temperatures aren't right and there's not enough flow but they just drop them into the pond so we get a chance at them and so we'll catch the same ones to catch a, a two pounder would be a, a really big one out of the stocked stocked ones that they throw in there so but we we have them that's cool yeah i need to get out there and fish oh oh no i lose stuff all the time in fact I don't know if I lost it. Did, did you? Did I lose it? I got him, dude. I don't know how I'm getting this lucky. Just had another come off. Was swimming with it for a while. Set the hook. Think it was pretty small though. She's killing it. So how does that work with YouTube then? Like income or what? Uh, I haven't really made much off of it. The only uh, money I've made is when people. Um, like my most viewed video, like 90,000 or just above it, is the Shimano Scorpion DC first impressions. It was just real good timing when like not a lot of people knew about the DCs and I had bought that one that was harder to get, you know, like exclusivity and it got, uh, it did really well. And so I put like, you know, buy the reel in the description. And so through Amazon affiliate marketing, I, I made like enough money to cover the reel and then some like, you know, three, 400 bucks maybe off of it over time. So like imagine if that was every video and I'm getting a lot of views and whatnot, that could be, that could be pretty good. So for me, my like, 
quote income has also just been free product at this point because I started working on my Instagram in November, like mid-November, like the 16th. I had 1089. I had less than 1100. Uh, I, I, dude, I've been just cranking out the posts. I've been doing everything people say. I put like 1200 bucks into uh, promotions behind my best performing posts. And uh, like literally the one post of me and John B has got me a thousand followers. 10% of my following has come from one post. I just put more and more money behind it. I boost it for like maybe 20 bucks over two days. Like I did one over Cinco de Mayo, everyone's on their phones. Definitely on the holidays, at least put 20 bucks behind something. And I market it to people with fishing interest only between the ages of 13 and 35. That's the heavy hitters. Uh, and like the US only, you know, put the money where it's gonna really matter on those promotions and it really does good things for your Instagram. And so like through that, that's, that's why favorites sent me like, you know, these 700 bucks worth in rods and uh, Wu Tungsten sent me a bunch of stuff and uh, MTB now sends me the pro box every month So it's only because of the Instagram that I've really gotten all that like Instagram is where it's at right now And it's also translating to more subscribers and it's how I met with John B And now I'm meeting with like all the Googans and so that's that's the exposure That's really gonna boost the YouTube that you know like meeting with the first video fishing with John B is what took me from 3300 to like closing in on 5,000 real quick and now I'm at like 5,500 yep all the hashtags tagging the companies and the people that you are interested in possibly partnering with uh, putting money behind your best performing posts and um, yeah posting a lot I mean I'm as I make these posts and stuff I tell people how I do it too like in all my like 6k 7k 8k 9k like whenever I hit those milestones I've been giving out tips on all those no way. First fish of the day. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> we might have found the secret sauce. <laughs> Hours out here, guys, but we watched this whole stream leading out to the main river, and Devin finally linked up with one on the Mondo Worm. We've been throwing uh, all kinds of different stuff, and she's the one who tied that on first and said she got a hit, so we just all been throwing the same thing since then. And she finally linked up, but we're gonna try and get something a little bigger. I think that was probably a pound, pound, little one pounder right there. So let's try and get the lines back in the water and grab something. See that thing? No, I don't. Oh gosh. There's two of them. There's three of them. They're all right here. You see them right in the Damn, oh my god, here. I'm gonna scare him. <laughs> yeah, scared him. Do they see me? No, they're heading that way, right? Oh my god. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh my god. Keep working it. Keep working it. Keep working it. Oh my god. Keep working it. Oh, he turned away. Did you see him right on it? No, dude. Oh my god. I'm getting the chills right now. I had one nose up to the fluke, a solid bass. Didn't even go for it. Yeah, we've been down here at this corner spot for quite some time overlooking the city, trying to catch a fish out of here, but uh, only one that's had any luck was Devin a little bit further down the trail. So we're gonna kind of backtrack, hit that bridge spot on the way back to the vehicles and see if we can't get more than one fish for this video. But uh, I, got, I got high hopes for this spot. It just looks so good. We are at what is potentially the last spot for the day, so let me just try and flip this sucker in there. Oh my god. Just got hits. I was gonna say, dude. Yo, you need me to get him? Yeah, it was on the Mondo Worm. So that's your first ever catch on the Mondo Worm, huh? Yeah, yeah, dude. That's definitely one of those Guadalupe bass though, right? Oh, boat flip. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been fishing all day with this one catch. This one beautiful catch. <laughs> and uh, we just took it and threw it back behind that current right there, that little break, and she slurped it up. I let it take it for a little bit. We got the first fish of the day for myself. You already got one. I just got hits right here too. Three solid tugs on the bandito. Got bites.
Got him. Yes. About time, huh? Yeah. My goodness. First large of the day, you guys. Oh man, it feels good. There was so many little pecks. I think he had it for a minute, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't just a little bluegill pecking at it. So we finally just said, okay, he's probably got it. He's swimming with it. And now uh, let's just go ahead and set the hook. First bass down in Austin, Texas, man. It's all in all a killer day. We didn't catch much to begin with, but then we got back to this final spot and we caught one apiece. Everything on today's video was caught on Guggen Baits. We threw the Mondo Worm and got a couple catches. We got the Bandito Bug and uh, maybe that was it. No crack and crawl. It was all Mondo Worm and Bandito Bug? It was all Mondo Worm and Bandito Bug, you guys. So if you haven't chunked any Guggen Baits yet, I'm going to link those in the description and you can check those suckers out. You know, it's kind of funny, but Devin and I were just down here and we were going to check out this place called Onion Creek right next to Barclay Meadows Park. And uh, we ended up getting hit up by Jason over here on Instagram. So you guys always be watching out on the story because if you see me in your area, I'd love to meet up with you guys. Jason put us on some fish today. He caught a little Guadalupe. We caught a couple largemouth and we had a ton of fun. So major thanks to him. Still have yet to give this spot a shot, y'all. Let's give it a cast or two. Let's try a spot a little further up. I made a trek back up to the very first spot we stopped at. And uh, I'm gonna try and throw the bandito bug in here and see what happens. Maybe we just get a bite, who knows. Need to put on a heavier weight. Is that a fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know they're hanging out under here. Yeah. I'm just trying to brush by and see if I can entice them to like yeah. swim out of there. No, you didn't. Mug. It's a good one too, dude. Quit lying. Oh my god. Oh, that was on the crawl, huh? Dude, maybe three pounds. Yo, we got the first one of size today. We knew he was in here. What is it? What is it? Almost four and a quarter. Yeah. Four ten. Four pounds. Oh, yeah. No way. Punching that crack and crawl. Boom. Crack and crawl behind a jig. Yes, I... <laughs> After we filmed the outro, we walked back down. I knew we wanted to hit this one spot one more time, and it's apparent there's no water flowing right here where the uh, brush is. And so I wanted to get in there, but the bandito j bug just wasn't sinking through with that quarter ounce weight. I didn't want to fiddle with retying because we're about to split, but we saw the fish burst right over here and tried to hit something, so we knew they were feeding. There's probably, there's potentially more in here. And so uh, needless to say, Jay and my babe came down here and Jason, he threw right in there with the jig. Dude, probably second, second cast. Like second second cast in there, just boom, got him. Four pounder, ripped him right over the tree, man. Too crazy. Nice work, bro. So, Mondo worm, crack and crawl, bandito bug. That's almost a shutout, ladies and gentlemen. They've been hitting on everything. Yeah, I need to put a half ounce weight on here. Half ounce Wu Tungsten weight. We are gonna just punch right on in there, boys and girls. Aw, oh, half ounce gets it done. Ah! <laughs> Bait flipped. Don't let him go. Jay's on a roll. Devin and I are hardly getting any bites. He's over here flinging stuff under trees. Look at this second catch. Had some fish coming behind it too, so you know they're hungry. Oh, got one on it. Whipping after it too. There was, there's two. Yeah, there's a couple. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Get it. Get it, little dude. I think it might be too big for him. Did you see him? No. No? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't
What up, y'all? It's like three weeks later. We uh, haven't been putting many videos out, but we got plenty more on the way, so don't worry about it. Uh, we were fishing that current for a little bit longer, didn't end up getting any. They weren't actually bass that were going after the chatterbaits for the remainder of the time before sunset that we were out there, but uh, it was pretty cool seeing some fish chase after it. We had an amazing day. I'm going to go ahead and link Jay's Instagram down below. He tends to catch a lot of big bass in the Austin area, so if you guys want to hit him up, it might be a good idea if you're down there, find out some sweet spots and get some fishing in with him. Cool dude. I got a lot more videos I got to focus on. We just got back from San Diego. Today's Memorial Day. We're going to do some fishing this evening and uh, hopefully get a lot more content out for you guys. Also, we're having a big giveaway and one of the reasons why I haven't been as active on the YouTube edits this week is because we've got a huge giveaway going on on our Instagram account. It is uh, for a Shimano Corrado K reel. It's also for three months worth of MTB Pro boxes, about $120 worth in baits, and a bunch of Wu Tungsten products. So you know we use all these products on a daily basis on the channel. Now there's a chance for you guys to win some for yourself. So go ahead and get over there, enter the giveaway. We're currently at like 17,000 comments, meaning entries. If we can hit 20,000 entries, I'm also going to throw in some Guggen baits in the mixture. And we're going to be at the Guggen Warehouse on opening day, so come out and see us. If you're the winner of the giveaway and you're going to the opening day of Guggen Warehouse, I'm going to go ahead and hand you it in person. But otherwise, we'll just go ahead and get it shipped out to you. So don't forget to head over to our Instagram that we've got linked below as well and enter that giveaway until the next video you guys see you then peace out <gasps>